Hey guys, if you guys need any online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below, so be sure to go hit him up now. Today, we are going to be bringing you guys a guide here on Zion Williamson in the fastest and easiest way to go ahead and get him, guys. Again, a really all-around solid XP guide to help you guys go ahead and get this card without having to play this game hours upon hours upon hours upon hours at a time. It's going to break this down, or I'm going to break this down for you guys to make sure you guys' life is not that bad let's take a look at zion really quick 55 hall of fame badges six gold badges and obviously you guys know he has all of the good badges zion is solid a lot of people are going to try to tell you guys that he's outdated already like a lot of these comp guys but if you are the average player which 99 of you guys are in this game trust me zion is really good to pick up now when i say average i'm not trying to offend you and say that you're bad at the game no I mean, you're not playing for millions of dollars. You're not playing for thousands of dollars. You're not playing for a dollar. You're just playing this game, which should be for fun. Zion is that guy to go ahead and have fun with. Again, Zion's animations and everything are always really solid. You guys know his defense is always just locked down. And again, because he's an invincible, 99 basically everything. Get this card, guys. Don't fall for the, the fake hype and the L hype on Twitter and all that sort of stuff. Go out and get this Zion. We are back with another 1 million MT giveaway, guys. To enter, all you guys have to do is use code BIO2K for a discount at checkout at NBA2King.com. They actually break down on the site the best ways to avoid being banned as well, so be sure to check that out, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I showed a little bit in the last video as well as how, you know, or what the rewards are, and I think the rewards actually are pretty solid. There's some all-time packs in here. There's some additional Galaxy Opals and Dark Matters you guys can get. There's some prize balls. There's some tokens. There's some MT. There's, you know, it's basically the same stuff. Um, but overall, there is a lot of Galaxy Opals that you guys can get. So even if you're starting like a brand new account or something, this season is definitely going to be very rewarding. So now is kind of the time to, uh, you know, maybe start a little no money spend series or whatever. We'll kind of see how that goes. Maybe you guys want to see that. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Uh, maybe. But let's talk about some XP here, guys. I say this every single season and every single time I make these videos. I, I'm not even going to get into it. But do your dailies. 500 XP for dunking twice, which is naturally going to happen. Winning a challenge game, which I'll get to in a minute. Grading. Oh, uh, th make five threes with a graded card. Everybody should have a graded card. But again, I'll get to that in a minute. And two triple that offline games. Easy. Okay, we're not even going to stress that enough. So that's three games at a minimum you have to play for the daily. You have to play two triple dead offline games and a challenge game, which again, I will get to in a minute. Win the weekend, guys. Triple dead offline game using three playoff cards. Boom, stack that up with your daily right there. Triple dead online, clutch time offline, clutch time online. All this, guys, can get done very easy. So again, you guys got to play a minimum of games here with these, but you can still stack what two of them up at least and then the rest just get it done pretty easy evoing playoff players now this could be a little bit interesting but five of them guys is going to be not that bad what you guys want to do is you guys want to focus on some of the rubies some of the amethyst that have very easy goals to go ahead and evo and you guys are going to flip them you're going to buy them cheap and you're going to flip them whether you're flipping them for cheap or whatever the case is you guys are going to find the cheapest ones you possibly can and do it that way and it's just going to again make your guys's life a lot easier all time teams here guys clutch time offline or online beating the different teams here or using different teams and using five players from each team and you guys have to use their all-time players so basically what this is guys is obviously this right here you guys are going to go to your collection and you guys are going to go down to the all-time nba let's just go ahead and use my favorite team as an example because why not so there is no lock-in but you have wilt you have steph you have kd you have rick barry you have mullen forget about all that let's go to the bottom here Andre Iguodala. Wow, there is no body looking beautiful, man. So they're going to be a little expensive probably to start. If I had to recommend something to you guys, I would hold off on maybe buying these cards for now. I would wait. You guys don't need to rush into getting these sets done, if I'm being completely real. 
you're not even like collecting them all, but you guys don't need to rush into, you know, going crazy and getting five players per team. Cause right now it's probably going to cost you 20 to 30 K for each team to go ahead and get it. So depending on, I guess what team you maybe want to do, I would definitely hold off those packs and those players are definitely going to go down in price. So the all time NBA stuff I would hold off on and Fuego set here, guys, this set is going to be again, interesting to say the least here. We do have the two invincibles, but here's the thing guys about XP grinding. I say this every single season as well. You do not have to do the top tier cards. Everybody always freaks out thinking that if they don't do them, they're not gonna be able to get it done. Don't worry about this guys, for real. You are completely fine here. You do not have to stress this at all. What you guys should do though, is when you guys get into here, let me look at the set here. This is what I wanna do. I wanna look at the set and we're gonna see. So. Going to the top of the set here, Harden is a dark matter, Gasol's a dark matter, Isaac's a dark matter, Joe Johnson's a dark matter, Sabonis is a dark matter, and Gallo is where it starts. <clears throat> so do Gallinari, do Joe King Noah, do Paul Millsap, do Steve Francis, do Danny Green, do Miles Turner, and do these challenges, guys. These challenges right here, these three, 1,500 XP for free, nice, you get a free pack. Hopefully, I think it is a deluxe pack if I'm not mistaken, Get yourself an originally owned player, drop 40. That is a ton of XP right there. So it's 3,000, 6,000, 9,000, 11,000. You're going to be getting 12,500 XP, guys. And now, if you guys have the additional MT, then you guys can worry about doing some bonus. Joe Johnson, because Joe Johnson is probably going to be a buy now. Jonathan Isaac, maybe will be a buy now. Maybe not right away, guys, but I can see it. I think that we're at the point where Dark Matters are going to be buy nows. They've already been, actually. So. Now could very well be the point, guys, where, uh, you know, these dark matters are definitely doable. So pay attention to that as well. My team wins. This is all going to happen naturally, guys. As you guys go through and win, you guys are going to earn XP per game. So again, this is going to happen naturally. I'm not going to tell you guys to hammer out a mode. I'm going to just be telling you guys the most efficient modes to do. Applying badges, applying shoes, and grading cards, guys. The grading cards is probably the most important one. Now, as we saw last season, this will stack up. or not, This won't stack, but they will be dropping a second set of these. Make sure you guys just get this done. I mean, again, this is all relatively easy. Maybe not the badges and shoes, because maybe some people just don't have a ton of them, but the grading cards, just launch them in there, get them done. Now, this right here is where I want you guys to be efficient with the XP grinding. So these are all the players you guys are going to be getting, obviously, through going through the XP system and everything. And they also obviously do have a challenge. This is something that has been a thing the entire time. This is something that, again, has been always here. Okay, like always here. So season seven rewards, you guys are gonna get a diamond shoe, some tokens, another diamond shoe, tokens, uh, MT, and an Fuego pack, which is really good, another diamond shoe, and a Hoff badge pack. But again, as you guys get these players, make sure you guys just complete these challenges. You guys don't have to jump ahead, but when you get the player, hop in here and do whatever it is. So for instance, Josh Giddy is a 21 point triple threat game. Get his double double in this challenge, guys. Go and get the rebounds with him. Do the little rebound method, get 10, score with Giddy, boom, you are done. And then you guys are gonna do that for the rest of them. So whatever it is for Steven Adams here, another 21 point you know, triple threat challenge here. Just make sure you guys go through and get this. This is easy XP that every time I watch people stream that are, you know, actually grinding XP and stuff, they never do these. And it takes no time to do it. So make sure you guys do focus up on doing that. Now, the most important thing too, guys, like I say, is there's three, three modes that will make your life so easy. You don't even have to stress in this game. Skills challenges. First things first, what we're going to talk about, basketball fundamentals. Inside scoring, I've talked about this again every season. This is obviously just for the people that are newer to this game. This challenge, guys, will not end until you get five post moves with a player. Any type of XP you guys want to do, whether you guys want to play a half of a game, two 12-minute quarters, and you want to get a ton of XP done. You want to drop 50 with two different players. You want to get a triple-double with a player. You need to get a double-double with another player. You need to get 14 assists with a player. Get it done all in one game. And as soon as you guys are done, hit five post moves, five post hooks, post spins, post fades, whatever you want to do. Get that done. Get out of the challenge. And you guys will get the credit for all the XP you guys have been doing. And it'll make your guys' life super, super easy easy and fuego challenges are pretty solid as well because as you guys are getting xp for completing the challenges you guys could do whatever you guys need to in one of these challenges they are triple threat challenges though so that is where it gets a little rough there and then the final thing triple dead offline 
this mode guys and especially in the beginning when it's on semi-pro when it goes to pro when it goes to all-star even so you guys literally have up to 100 wins i think no even better even better okay so it stays on all-star until 200 wins you guys have 200 wins to fly through triple threat get whatever xp done you guys need so whether it's hitting threes with players assists with players rebounds with players whatever do it it'll fly by i promise you xp will fly by and make your guys' life so easy again thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy and yeah peace